Hello there, and welcome back to Europa Barbarorum 2. We are Rome, the Republic of, and we are going to complete the conquest of the boot today. Oh, they're going to... I was going to say we're going to attack Regium, but we've only got one turn left. So, what have we done so far? We lost a Riminum, a Riminum, a Riminum, uh, to the rebels, and we then had to take it back. We have taken Tarentum, which was formerly named Taras. I do think that the... Some of the major cities are going to take Latin names when we take them, which is kind of a nice little feature. We have Manius Curius Denatatus, Dentatus, our leader and, and uh, general of the army. He is going to be fighting in one turn. We make a little bit of money. Apart from that, it's onwards and upwards, friends. <clears throat> so, I do hope you're all doing very well today. I've just got back. I have had the unfortunate issue of having to go into work on my holiday, which is disappointing. To go and sort some things out, post in the comments below if you worked out what I do for a, for a job yet. Right, they've sallied forth to attack us. This is it. This is what we wanted. And then we can start thinking, as long as this one goes well, we can start thinking about what we're going to do with our new kingdom. Uh, yeah, I could have sworn. See, that indicates that when I started doing this, I was planning on... Um, taking the cut the city by siege so standard inf standard roman um lines here we're going to have two spears on the sides of each and we've got our hastati at the front and we've got our principes at the back going to get him from, what are you, you're the Principes, that's fine. Is that everyone? Have they brought everybody out of the city? Well, I'll tell you what, let's not take that. Throw your spears, men! There you go. You can take them in the sides. They have no cavalry. I could have sworn they had cavalry, which means that this is going to be very, very good indeed. Oh. Let's get you. And if you can throw something as well, let's sort that out. Helps muchly. Right round go the Etruscan hoplites. Oh, they've got actual triarii. Triari. Yeah, that's, I'm saying that one right. Let's focus on them. What are these then? Skirmishers, archers, skirmishers, right. We shall cut them off from their own gate.
Round and round we go. We're going to win this. So, I, what I've been doing on my way home, I have a commute on the way from work. It's a bloody long commute. It's the reason I'm trying to learn to drive this year. But I was looking at one of those maps that shows the conquests of Rome year by year. So I can see where I should, where if I were to do it historically, i.e. the way that the Romans did it, then I could... Oh, where are you going? There's no point in doing that. It takes 20 minutes to hold it. And after this, as suspected, I should be going towards Sicily. I should be conquering Sicily and the two islands to the west of mainland Italy, um, Corsica and Sardinia. And that is indeed what I shall be doing. Uh, oh, we don't want to get involved in that. Run away! Look, there's a gap there, let's go in there. What exactly are you fighting? Nothing at this point in time. forces up together and then this one can go back to Rome and have a lovely retraining session what are you doing in come the cavalry let's, ch let's follow them in Many, many rebels will die. Now, of course, at the start of the game, if you watched episode one, you'll know that this was one of the... This was the target. These have managed to upset Rome. Who is fighting? Who is fighting? There's nothing there. Right, all of you... That's a strong victory. So at the start of the game there was a bing bong message saying that someone had... We were paying someone in Regian to stand against uh, Pyrrhus of Epirus. And... They were... They essentially turned their cloaks. Ooh, hello. And Pyrrhus bought them off and that's why we had to... I just got one foot in the grave. And that's why we had to come back and put them to the sword. I'm just checking, actually, to see if he is... What does true Roman mean? This man is widely seen as the best qualities of an ideal Roman, including health, the skepticism about foreigners. Ooh. Right, so we need... <laughs> Yeah. There we go. What have we got? What three of them? three of them? So actually, we're going to have a whole army ready to go. And 
And I think that may be, because our, our current leader has one foot in the grave, meaning he's getting on a bit, I think that perhaps he should uh, reside in Rome and his faction heir, his, my faction heir, he might be his as well, I don't know. Haven't checked the family tree. Can take over control of the army because they've got to have Imperium. Right, pacify them and lower the tax rate. I'm quite pleased with that. 23 turns, so that's basically six years if you round it up. And we've managed to conquer the boots. That's a very helpful tool. We can build hoplites here. Right. Juno, Circe's Mars is war. Minerva, patron of the arts, inventor of music and good. Goddess of the Earth and Family Affairs. Now the plan has always been to build as many things as possible. So we might be able to have two legions. I know they're not real legions at the minute. We've got to get the, um, the criteria fulfilled. But... We're, we're, it's going to be 200 turns before we get the first reform. I've got to have... Yeah, that's just what's happened in real life. I have to have um, five battles with Carthage and five back battles with rebels in Cisalpine Gaul, which essentially is from here, from Marseille, over to here. It's everything under the Alps. There you go. Marvellous. Right, we could do... Two of them. We've nearly got a full banner army ready to go. That's very good news. And then he can come back and retrain. I don't think it's worth... Ah. Next go. We'll send him to Tarentum. Can we recruit some Etruscan hoplites? Yes. Making a loss. But it's winter, so we don't take in as much money. The amount of money you take fluctuates on this mod um, between the seasons, which is... Again, it's a fantastic piece of detail, but it's so annoying. <laughs> it means you have to think about everything. Right. Here we have one, two... We're going to need another horse. Right. 58. There we go. And then the question is, with this second army, where are we going to actually go with it? Now, we do have a ship, so we can get... 
That's going to be interesting. I want to go and have a look at that. I want to know if there's a land bridge between there. Because if there is, then taking the two islands is quite important for me. It's going to be important for me for trading purposes anyway, because of course you can trade with yourself over sea. Or do we just go north and see if we can get these battles done with the... What's down here? I think that's what we're going to do to start with. How many cavalry? You have three. Okay, so let's take you, you, and you, and you go in there. Then we put in the Principate. The one good thing about being Roman is you know exactly what the composition of your army should be. Astarte in the front. Principates in the back. Followed by your, hop, your version of Hoplites on the side. The only problem is that this army got a little bit battered in that auto resolve. But I'm sure I have a spy. Where did this oh there's this I've already got the spy killed off, is that what that means? Pergamon famously sided with the Romans and then got absorbed by the Empire. talk to Egypt next. I'm wondering if we should have dealt with this. We can when we get to this army retrained and things. Can you re actually retrain? No, you can't. So you're going to need to go to Aretium or Ariminum to go get the Etruscans. Ha! Huh. Right, keep ticking it over. But the problem we've got, and this is where the um, re the reform requirements, which is quite the mouth, quite the mouthful. I need to find. The armies. Now this is the thing that, oh, there's two of them, Gob Banicus, and it's this gentleman here, Ilio Maris. Now, just bear with me two seconds, because I'm going to look up, do I need to initiate the battles? That's what I'm worried about. Rome, the Polybian reform will happen past turn 100 if the player has had at least four large battles, 12 units they need. So this doesn't qualify anyway. Yeah, it says, be warned, the battles possibly need to be initiated, initiated by you. So, we'll fight this one, but we've got to attack five large armies. His friend there, who thinks he's crouching in the trees near the coast, we should try and wipe him out. Um, what have we got? Let's just go here. 
standard formation for the Roman army once more. Uh, we're going to have our horses. None of them have a special ability. There's very few special abilities on this mod. They're tiny. Look, there's only there's bugger all of these. But they are meant to be awesome. Right. You attack me, friend. Down you come. And this is the second legion's first action. Maybe it'll be storied like the ninth or the thirteenth. Can't remember. Is it the Hitler? Uh, Hitler? <laughs> Caesar's. That's um, because I'm doing something with Hitler at work. Um, I'm not a Nazi. Just, just to clarify, but that that might give you another clue as to what I do for a living. Um, but see, I think Caesar's Legion was the 13th. No skirmishers. They're all skirmishers, so why don't we just gobble up that? Alright, let's get you going. Around you come, friends. Romans wait for no one. All of you, if you've got a javelin, let's see if we can take out this skirmisher cavalry. Are they actually throwing things? Yeah, they are. That's helpful. Then we put the second row onto javelins. gobble up these skirmishes before we can run around to do another and in you go Take as many captives as we can.
I'm, I'm now thinking it through. I think the ninth was the one that got destroyed by Boudicca. Although it could have been reinstated, I suppose. Which was the one that one got decimated? Um, oh, that's not the right word with Rome, is it? Because decimation is a thing. But which one got lost in the Teutoburg Forest against the Germans? Good, we're picking up experience. He's gone on to two chevrons. I wonder if it is his father that's the uh, faction leader. Type of thing I'd like to know. Just one guy. He's in the middle of my my cavalry unit. Look at him. Is he planning to make it off the map? No. There you go. Thanks, friends. Ninety-seven lost. One thousand one hundred. Let's just see who he is. Oh, he's the husband of his daughter. I get the feeling that Lucius Cornelius Scipio should be in charge of an army. Where's he? Yeah, so maybe has he got the? I have to check. Imperium relinquit. Well, how do I get it back? So if we take you. Now this is where life gets a little bit confusing. can't move the army out anyway because it's re it requires a bit of a going over but actually what can we train down here oh no I can this is my actual Italian units my Latin units rather Hadabal. Bloody love Carthage. I was gutted when the poll came through. <laughs> and people had voted for Rome. I was so annoyed. Alright, we would like trade. We'd like to share our map as well that helps me fill in a bit Egypt are a very large part of the world it's Ptolemaic Egypt Ptolemaic so that means they're basically Greeks it's the fall of Alexander isn't it Ptolemy Seleucia keeps telling me that I've got colonies I'm not sure that's accurate because that feel that's very Greek in my head. No, I'm not going to pay you. Right. So the. The original army is now going to be fine. That's good news. Cato. 
Now the problem is, is that you don't want to fight in winter. So I've got to put everybody back in a settlement. So they don't all die. Simples. I'm thinking that the most profit is going to be so Sicily is the jewel of the Mediterranean um, trading lanes. So maybe I distinctly remember in the first episode getting a bing bong message, uh, an event message saying that the Carthaginians went near Messana and they weren't allowed to. So actually. Let's go and get that. So I thought if I let him go there, he would get sod it. I don't really care if it's going to be an illegal war. train some of you. Alright, we can do that. Hopefully next go we get the Principes done and we're going to pile into Sicily. And if the rebels get tricksy, we're going to go back up there. But at the minute, taking Sicily and taking these two are our keys. Rome actually, when I looked at the, um, the sort of the live map of the conquests of Rome, so very good. I'll try and remember to put a description, a link in the description. It's surprising how long it takes them to take this Alpine Gaul. Like they have. Oh, whoops! Like they have. Caesar has his conquests in Gaul before they take this bit over here. They have this one that goes round and they link it on the coasts. We're not going to starve these out. We're going to... We're going in straight away. Because we are very, very close to not making any money. And that... Seems to be something that we want to sort out. I don't mind if it's going. It's only going to be forty short. That army's ready to go now. It's ready to pop. And then we can get back to building. I think in this mod, more than any other other mod, it's normal or normal it's natural to not build things to sort of keep your money and pull them up together because the economy is so long with warning Oh, so I'm not allowed to do it. I, nobody's allowed to. Oh, that's weird. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. So nobody can take Masana. That's rather strange. And now it's not letting me... Get him out. Let's 
So if we don't do that, that means that we could just go north and so let's go and have a look at is it Marseille? That's gonna be a trading post. And then I think what I would very much like to do is Yeah. I think one of the things that Rome was very, very good at, I'm trying to be in character. They never forgot a slight. So actually, we're going to go and, is it this? Oh, they've got that. I would very much like a second um, boat. So I can start getting in and out in different places. Did we stop? Yeah, they're still our allies, so that's fine. Right, we don't have the... We want to deal with that. Um... Prob is this... Yeah, so let's go, let's disembark there. What I'm now thinking is that sod it, we're just, we're meant, I've moved my armies about too much. I'm thinking, why don't we just put them both on Sicily? I swear to God. Bloody rebels. Militus, written torture. Opegnata. Roma, weapons. Hmm. Alright, so actually you're going there, and you're coming. Yeah, I think that was that can go down as a bit of a cock-up of indecision. What are you? You horses, yeah. We'll, we'll batter these. And then I think we're, we're going to have to resolve just to have a war with Carthage. I think there should be a better way of getting the oh my god they've gone all the way up the hill still think there should be there should be a better way of getting the hill up uh, the hill the checkerboard formation that Rome's so famous for god I'm having a mare I can tell I've been at work that means I'm not thinking straight Are they just all camped out here?
Do you not throw that far? That's piss poor. Oh, this one's got mullered. Remember, the Hastati are not the experienced. They are literally there to die. The Principes are the good ones. That is not what we told you to do. Get on with it. Horses, around the back, please. Take the skirmishes. Take them. Take them all. Go to this side, this side, this side. There you go. Dealt with the rebels. And we're going to just sod it. We're going to start the Punic War as a good way to end today's episode. We're just going to accept... The First Punic War ends with the secession of Sicily. Oh, that's Mount Vesuvius. I do hope it doesn't <laughs> erupt and bugger up my plans. Right, we can now start thinking about building things again. How much does that cost? 6,400. Are we going to have that next go? No, we better stop. Oh, hang on. Why don't we do that? That's much better. Got to keep the Eternal City growing. Hopefully, that rebel army at Ariminum leaves. What a dick. Twice I've lost that city. Twice. There will not be a third. I vow to Jupiter. Pulcher's board. Where's Pulcher? Right, sod it. Even if we get a bing bong message, it makes perfect sense. What we could do 
As we can get our diplomat out. We can come talk to the Carthaginians and see if they want to forgive us our minor transgressions of ignoring a treaty. What are we making? 1,000. How much does it cost to get you to be Italian? 4,000. Yeah, let's do another one. I wonder if he's going to keep... There's got to be something I can build. I wonder if it's that... I was saying, I was wondering if it's actually this. I wonder if that's the building that it keeps telling me I should be building. Ah, small Latin colony. There you go. By building it, we can produce our Roman troops. Which we can produce anyway. Oh, but two. Yeah, that's interesting. I've seen. I've never played it. Like I've said, I said before, I've never played as Rome on this mod. I very much. Yeah, thank you. I played as um, probably everybody else, really. Let's go take Felsina. Teach them a bit of a lesson. Or die trying. Oh, I can give this trait to someone I want to be. Ah, he may present his going for the committee central Rome and Rome and await the verdict. So he can go to Rome now. Right, that makes a bit more sense. Not this year. When he's taken Felsina, he's going to go to Rome and see if he can become elected at anything. Right. So, we're going to end the episode there because we've got a bit of a, a siege to fight. We've got two, but we have successfully conquered the mainland of Italy. So that's all ticking over quite nicely. We are now making a bit of a loss, but that'll be sorted in a second when we take Masana and either take Felsina or die trying and lose most of the army. But, thank you very much for watching if indeed you have and we shall see you next time as the eagle flies that little bit higher take care